So from GCSE, if you wanted to work out the length of an arc, so that would be this length here. So that point all the way around the circle to that point. That is my arc, OK? So that length I could calculate as being a section of the whole circle circumference, OK? So a fraction of the circle circumference. Now I know that the circle circumference is 2 pi r. So I want some fraction of that 2 pi r. And I could work it out by saying, well, if I know that the angle is theta, then whatever that angle is out of 360, I could multiply by 2 pi r, and that will give me the fraction of the circumference I want. So if that's 60 degrees, then I could say, well, I want 60 out of the 360 of the 2 pi r, that proportion of 2 pi r that I want. Now, that is what it would be in degrees, OK? Now, because I know that in radians, 360 degrees is 2 pi r, 2 pi radians, right? So in radians, the arc length can be given by the angle that you've been given in radians, OK? divided by 2 pi, rather than 360, times by the 2 pi r. But conveniently, because you're dividing by 2 pi and multiplying by 2 pi, the 2 pi's cancel. And so you're just left with theta times r. So this formula that is in degrees, when you put it into radians, just becomes theta times r. So if you know that theta is uh, 1, 1 radian, and r is 5 centimetres, then the arc length is 1 times 5, so 5 centimetres. And that is the formula that you can utilise.